So do we file that one under, uh, did it the hard way? I think we've been doing it the hard way all season, bar one or two games. You know, that's just these players, but you know, we always ask them to find a way to win and, and, and somehow they did. You know, um, we didn't start the game particularly well, could have been two down, uh, got ourselves back in the game. Uh, and then, you know, dominated possession, you know, had chance after chance after chance, didn't take them in at half time, said, you know, get that second goal and you, know, you can you can get three or four, but it didn't pan out that way. And then, you know, we made a decision to go to a back four and get another attacker on uh, because of a yellow card. And then, you know, Fence gets himself sent off and you think, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. But credit to the lads, we were by far the better team with, with 10 men. And, you know, we just thought it was one of those nights where we just weren't going to get the second, but, you know, um, like, like we say, you know, week in, week out, they always find a way to win. And they did, you know, with, with 10 minutes, which makes it even more sweeter. With all this attacking player you've got on the pitch, it was a stern of Iron Cross and Adam Chapman goal. Probably not the way you expected to win the game in the end. Certainly not, no. I mean, Montel come up with a, with, with a super strike. Um, but yeah, I didn't think it was a particularly great cross from Stern. And then, and then Chapo's volleyed it in, but we know, we know he's got that quality and, you know, it was a great finish. And, you know, with five minutes to go and then, you know, we just got everybody behind the ball and, and tried to see it out, which we tried to do against Hellzone, but we managed to do tonight. What was the difference tonight compared to the games where you've won sort of four or five? It was it his confidence again the early goals perhaps as well and they got an early goal? Yeah, early goals, I, I just think, you know, we've looked, we've looked tired and jaded for the last two or three weeks and we've lost that fluidity and in and around the box with the women, we, we wasn't getting shots away, the, the, the crossing was not great tonight. Um, and we just like that quality in the final third, which we, we, we've had in abundance this year. So, you know, it's still another two goals. It's a, it's a huge three points. And, you know, after the results that are, that have gone tonight, then, you know, we'll certainly take it. But, you know, with this team, we know it's going to go to the wire, like I keep saying. Yeah, it remains very tight to chase down one in the 90th minute tonight, which probably, if anything, shows just how important that goal from Adam Chapman was in the end. It's a huge goal. And we look back at the Yaxley goal and... You know, all, all, all these games where you where you know you think you don't deserve to win, or the team thinks you deserve to get a draw, you have to dig in. You know, and that's a winning mentality. That's that's how you win leagues. You keep going right till the end and and never give up. And, and that's what they've done again. So you get Histon now. We try again at Histon on, on Saturday. Um, hard to know what to expect from a side or a scrap at the bottom. But again, I suppose you've got to go there and scrap it out and just you know, it's about the three points, isn't it? Yeah? yeah, I spoke to the to the management of Carlton yesterday and, and they said they're not a bad side they've got five or six new players and you know a really strong you know um, outfit last I heard it was it was one nil the way at Stanford so I'll speak to to Graham Drury and ask how they they set up tonight but you know it's it's there's going to be no easy games the lads know now it's every game's a cup final and you know we can't afford any slip-ups and we've just got to grind it out dig in and and, and keep grinding